Thank you. Thank you so much for saving my mom. I don't know what I would have done if they'd murdered my mom as well. As well? My husband volunteered in Governor General Dor's army and was killed in a battle against the Desions. And my mother was taken to the ranch. It was Grandma that originally founded our shop. We have to protect it. Not just for ourselves, but also for Grandma's sake. For when she returns... Yo, your grandma's dead. I'm sorry, but I'd better get going soon. It's almost time for the next Asgard pilgrimage. Asgard pilgrimage? I work at the Church of Martell Travel Agency, but it's not like I believe in Martell or anything. Sugar, how can you say such a thing? I know. I know. I'm grateful for the Chosen, but Martell didn't protect Dad or Grandma. Even this time, it wasn't Martell, but the Chosen and her companions that saved Mom. It was the Chosen's companions that got your grandmother murdered. How can anyone believe in a goddess that sleeps while we suffer? I understand, but I still think Martell exists. You think? Kind of cringe? Embarrassing, as the kids would say? Thinking in this day and age? Crazy. I'm sure of it. She exists inside you and me. Well, if the Chosen says so, then I'll at least try to believe. The Chosen? Wait a minute. I gotta... This is hurting my brain. Let's take a second to think about this, right? So, like, Chocolat doesn't believe in Martell. Chocolat does believe in the Chosen. And because the Chosen says she believes in Martell, she'll try to believe in Martell. However, the entire concept of the Chosen is based off of the religion of Martell. Colette being the Chosen and being important only makes sense if you believe that Martell and Martell's religious doctrine is a thing that, like, exists and works. So if you already didn't believe in Martell, why would you care at all about believing in the Chosen? Are there really people that want to go on a trip right after what just happened here? It is kind of weird how in this universe, like, I guess it's just because they're so used to the designs existing in every facet of their life. But despite the fact that there are human ranches and people are constantly put into slavery until death, that they're like, oh yeah, by the way, let's like get a travel agency going and like do tours and stuff to make revenue. Instead of putting all of their focus on like, I don't know, fighting the designs and freeing like the half of their population that's in captivity from captivity? It's after events like this that both those with and without faith feel the need to go on a journey in search of salvation. I think it's one of those faith by sight things. But, like, they said another Chosen had already gone out to try and, like, do the regeneration thing, but was killed by the Desions, right? And whenever a Chosen comes to be, a giant tower magically erects itself at the northern part of the continent? I don't see how seeing Colette suddenly changes Chocolate's mind. Like, seeing the giant tower appear in a single second should, should have already changed her mind, if anything. pretty much sums it up. Well then, thank you all very much. So we're, like, despite the fact that the store is called Marbles, we're still not gonna bring up the fact that Marble is your grandmother. We're just gonna leave that on the back burner for later in the game, I guess? I guess so. we been walking around as Kratos for a long time. Let's, let's walk around as Colette. No, wait, not exchange, display change. I was hoping when I was Colette, she'd have the angel wings out. Kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. Hey, can I have some free stuff? They literally call it marbles right here. We're not, we're not gonna... Not gonna get into that at all? Go ahead and give me, like, three more of these. Go ahead and give me two more life bottles, too. I'm holding off on buying weapons because we're overleveled right now. Not that we could buy weapons from there, but I mean, I'm not gonna go look for weapons right now, either. To fight the strong. Huh? What is it, Lloyd? I think there are more things I must learn in order to fight powerful enemies. Heh. <laughs> what? Lloyd, you will grow stronger. Huh? 
It is easy to continue recklessly swinging a sword, and that's probably enough to take care of your average enemy. But it won't serve you when faced with a truly strong opponent. You, Lloyd, are in the midst of realizing that. You tell him, Kratos. Therefore, you will undoubtedly grow even stronger. You think so? Grow strong, Lloyd. Battle tips was added to the... <laughs> we had to get a skit, like, six hours into the game to get the uh, battle tips added to the menu? That's hilarious. Are you the kid that threw a rock? Yo, you're famous. I threw rocks at Magnus. I was kind of scared, though. Oh, children. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So what... What am I doing next? Do I go back to the House of Salvation now and try and get the thing from that dude? Or wait a minute, let me see if I can go talk to Door. Or maybe we're going to the Human Ranch next. I'm not sure. It's either House of Salvation, Human Ranch, or Hakanosia Peak. Mystery of the Imposters. Those sussy Bacchus. Those fakes are totally copying us. I suppose that would make their ignoble leader, Lloyd. Ha ha ha, yeah, he's just like him. And that girl would be Colette, and the magic user would be me. Ah, and that one who looks like a big ape is. That's you, Genus. Genus? No, it's gotta be Kratos. I loved that face Kratos made. Well then, I guess that means you're not important enough to copy, Genus. That adds up to me. Hey, can I talk to you about getting that statue? Chosen one, please be careful. All right, never mind. Was worth a shot. Let's see if we can talk to Dor, and then I guess we're going to either the ranch or the the peak again. What can I not talk to you? I have to go around the table to talk to you. Weird. We should have known that the designs would attack when we were away. Chosen one, everyone, we're all truly grateful. Thank you so much. I must report this to Pro- Oh, uh, Chosen One, please show me your angel wings again sometime. I can't wait to tell all my friends. Kilia, I apologize for my daughter's rudeness. Your name's Kilia. Sure, I'll show them to you again. Yay, thank you, Chosen One. Greetings and welcome. I think I just remembered something from when I played the game like eight or nine years ago. That, uh, that little kid is very sus. Especially with how much she talks. What did, what did she mean there, report to, report to someone? Very sus, is all I'm saying. Palma Coast is future. Darn those designs. Why do they do such horrible things? But I'm glad nothing really bad happened to Cacao or the people of the city. Or is that supposed to be Coco because her daughter's name is Chocolate? Guys, as things stand now, do you think they'll attack Palma Costa again? Yeah, I'd been thinking about that myself. If this turns into another Azalea. You knew that when you saved Coco, though. It may sound heartless, but we must focus on the journey of regeneration. Did I make another mistake? Palma Costa has a militia. Even if we had not fought, surely it would have been only a matter of time before they staged an uprising on their own. Even still, maybe I was acting irresponsibly. But Chocolate and Coco and everyone were grateful to you, Lloyd. And besides, if you hadn't done anything, I think I would have fought by myself. Colette, thanks. Yeah, you know, it's like a really nuanced situation. Basically, Regardless of what you did right there, whether it was 100% right or 100% wrong, it definitely wasn't 100% wrong, morally speaking. So the best thing to do now is to just focus on regeneration and get rid of the designs for good as quickly as you can. The House of Salvation is like right next to the Palma Costa Ranch. So, let's go to the House of Salvation and see if that's where the game wants me to go, and if it's not, then we'll go to the ranch. And if it doesn't want me to go there, I guess we'll go back to the Hakanesia Peak. And if it doesn't want me to go there, I, I guess we see if someone at Palma Costa will take me back to Isolde, would be my next guess. What'd you get? 
Ooh, now attack up I like a lot more than defense up, not gonna lie. I find that much more useful. That's, it's like I'm doing like 30 more damage a hit or something like that, it looks like. That's a good attack game. My cabbages! You know, I need something. I bet that there is, at some point in the game, an item you can. How do I. Yeah, cooking. An item I can cook that will be. Uh... Wait a minute. Switch me off of sandwich. Do we have anything else? We only have sandwich. There's gotta be a dish at some point that will restore. Um, HP. Or not HP, TP. That's what I want for cooking. Whenever we can get a recipe like that. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, hello. Chosen one, everyone. What is it? I have a message from Dor. He would like you to temporarily cease the journey of regeneration. What is this about? A Church of Martell pilgrimage tour guide has been kidnapped by the designs. In light of this, Dor has decided that this is the time to gather Palma Costa's forces and launch an attack on the human ranch controlled by Magnius. This is seeming a little sus. How is that related? We would like you to rescue the kidnapped tour guide in concert with our attack. Who is this kidnapped tour guide? A uh, chocolate, obviously. Her name is Chocolat. Chocolate? Oh no. Chosen one, please help us. Lloyd, let's help them. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow I thought you were gonna say that. Of course, we can't just leave her. Thank you. Neil will inform you of the details once you reach the ranch. Okay, now we go to the ranch. Thought so. I don't really need to heal it in. Let's just get over to the ranch. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. It's like right around this corner. I'm not even gonna bother getting noise out. All right, you stupid little Palma Costa ranch. Bring it on. They got a lot of mages. The second ranch. L Lloyd? Yeah, we've seen this before. So Ezelia's wasn't the only human ranch. Well, yeah, we obviously knew that, you moron. I don't want to see any more victims like Marble. Yeah, we don't need any more victims. Let's go, Genus. Chosen one, please wait. Neil, we heard Chocolate's been captured, or kidnapped. Yes, I wish to speak with you regarding that. Please come this way. Doesn't sound like you have very good news for us. I would like you all to just go ahead and leave the Palma Costa region. But if we do that, what will happen to Chocolate? Yeah, we're supposed to work in conjunction with the Palma Costa army to save Chocolate, right? Let me guess. The Palma Costa army is not going to attack, and this is all just a lure to get the Chosen. No, that's... So it is a trap. I knew it. I think I, like, vaguely remember this. Maybe a little bit? It's been a long time. Of the several possibilities, it looks like the worst one came true. Kratos and Professor, what are you talking about? It was a mystery that the designs would simply leave a city with an army alone. Yes, exactly. Choosing not to crush the seeds of rebellion must mean they are not a threat. They are left alone simply because they have no real power, or perhaps because they're in fact beneficial. It is as you say. Dor is working with the designs to lead the Chosen into a trap. I knew it! Why would he do such a thing? He didn't used to be like this. He always thought of the well-being of the people of the city. Even five years ago, when he lost his wife, Clara, he swore to fight against the designs. Isn't it like... I'm like vaguely remembering this from eight or nine years ago. I think his wife is like not actually dead, but the designs are holding her hostage or something, probably? I don't know, we'll see. I don't remember exactly. Then why? I don't know. At any rate, entering the ranch now will put the Chosen in danger. Leave chocolate to me and please go on your way. Please regenerate the world as soon as possible. Indeed. It would be best to abandon the situation here for world regeneration. Honestly, yeah, it makes the most sense. No, I can't just ignore this. 
Colette's right. If we leave things as they are now, Palma Costa may be destroyed just like Azalea. You think so too, don't you, Lloyd? Yes, what you say is true, but I still wish to side with Kratos. Kratos? If you don't want to see cities destroyed, you should avoid contact with the designs. Honestly, fair. No, that's not right. Regenerating the world and saving the people in front of us are not exclusive of each other. That's what I think. That's really fair. But consider that if we just speed run regenerating the world, so many more people at large will be saved. But at the same time, you're not wrong. It's a really nuanced situation that's difficult to make the right call. If that's how you feel, Colette, then we do not have any right to stop you. The only one who has the right to make decisions on the journey is you, the Chosen One. Is that alright with you, Lloyd? That was my intention from the beginning. Remember what I said? I'm gonna destroy them all. Still. It's alright. Colette is saying this is what she wants. Now then, we have two courses we can take. The first one is to go on ahead and infiltrate the ranch and rescue Chocolate and the other captives. Now this thing- now that things have come to this, if we leave the ranch alone, it will surely result in a second Azalea. Our second option is to confirm Dor's true motives. If he has a plan to trap, then we know the layout of the- then he knows the layout of the ranch well. Let's let him talk for a bit. What are you- what are you going to do to Dor? You'd better not ask that. Rain's punishment is painful. Wrecked. Thinking logically, dealing with Dor first is the correct choice. What do you think, Lloyd? Yeah, let's go- let's go question Dor. Let's return to Palma Costa. We'll hear what Dor has to say first. Yeah. But let's save Chocolate as soon as we can. I'm sure she's scared and lonely by herself. My, even Lloyd makes rational decisions sometimes. So it seems. Well then, let's go. What should I? Stay here. We're gonna put the squeeze on your commander. It's better if you don't see it. Please watch over the status of the ranch from here. All right. I mean, theoretically, Chocolate should be safe for now, because they're using her as bait for Colette. So, Chocolate isn't any use of bait if they kill her before the Chosen shows up, right? So theoretically, Chocolate should be completely safe for the time being. Just so long as we don't take too long. What does Palma Costa have to be so far away from the Palma Costa Ranch? Fight me. Do 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 do. Ow, my feelings. Ow, my feelings again. Is your guard broken, idiot? I love having Beast. How did that not get a break? I hate the witch's voice. Sounds like she's smoking an entire pack of cigarettes at this very moment. There goes that one. Watch out! I'm watching you, Rizowski. Always watching. Bum, 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 bum. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Defeat Magnius. That Magnius is a barbarian. I couldn't have put it better myself. He's trying to rule everything through brute force. And the power he's using to do it isn't even his. It comes from his X-Sphere. That scum. I'm gonna make him pay. Even that man is a living being. Defeating Magnius means taking a life. So what? We should just stand by and let him take out his retribution on the people of Palma Costa? No. What I'm saying is, to kill your enemy means to bear the responsibility for that life. You must never forget that. To bear the responsibility for a life. Yeah, you're right. It seems I get excited a little too easily. I'll be careful. But you quickly realize it and repent, so you're still fine. And then he quickly forgets, too. Hey, don't butt in. Ow. Genus, human punching bag. Be careful, everyone. I can't remember if we're actually going to run into a boss fight or not. With, uh with this door nonsense. 
Thank you for the sharpness. Much appreciated. Don't overdo it. So we should probably try and hit the in before we go talk to him. And also, I should probably save this unison attack. We might not have, like, a full-on boss, but we might have a, like, oh, fight some militiamen or fight some designs that are protecting door moment. Yo, shout out to Sharpness. Big fan of Sharpness. No, die before she wastes time using Angel. Well, too little, too late. Eh, yep. Just one hit away. It's fine. We're gonna heal up at the end anyways. 